Hey guys, welcome back to the Snap Ring Chronicles. Today we have another ratchet video. Today we have a Challenger. Challenger by Prolo. 1260. And as we spoke before about Prolo, they've used that. 1260 number on a number of different ratchets and different designs. Here's a Penance Corporation 1260. Penance was a, a subsidiary of a Proto. They were they were bought up by Proto. And here we see a Stanley. It also has the one two six zero this one has an a at the end this is another challenger totally different design also than than this challenger this one has a quick release so proto like to use that that number designation on a lot of different ratchets and a lot of that pretty much have nothing in common with each other or or something in common because there a lot of them were round head ratchets but the mechanisms were a lot different and what's peculiar about this ratchet is that if you take a look at these they look almost identical to the Proto, but these are New Britain designs. Here's a Husky CB45 and a Pencraft. I think the number says 3681. And these were also, these were a different manufacturer but if you put them to close together they look almost identical look take a look at the switches they look almost the same and the head the diameter of the heads almost the same the thickness almost the same The way that the mechanisms are held in, almost the same. This one usually uses a snap ring. It looks like this. I took it off already because just to save some time. And this one uses a coral ring. But no, this is the Husky. The Proto uses a coil ring. But not around the mechanism, the core ring goes around the groove in the body. Like the New Britain does. And you see how thin the wall is here for the body? Just like the Proto. See how thin the wall is there in the body? Okay, let's open these up. These are a little tricky to open with the coral rings because they have, you have to pull them towards the anvil, usually on round heads. They have a coral ring, they'll have the coral ring on the, on the mechanism. So you pull them out. I think that's, a, I think that's a little bit easier. Here you have to pull this, pull it towards the anvil and try to get underneath of it which I think it's, it's harder to do. Okay. Just roll it around until it comes out. 
That's the ring. Just the usual coral ring. It goes around the edge. Most round heads. Okay, now we have the New Britain and the Proto. The New Britain, as we know, has this double switching plate design with a floating, with a big floating paw. It's the switch. And here is the teeth and the body inside the mechanism. There's the groove for the ring. And it looks pretty fine. It's like a fine tooth. Fine tooth type ratchet. Okay, here's the pro. Let's pull this out. Before we look at this, let's look, let's compare inside the heads. Okay, this is the Pencraft in New Britain. They look almost identical inside. I mean, if these came from the same factory, I would not be surprised. Everything looks the same, all the grooves, the teeth, everything. I wonder if one had a deal with the other one to make make these ratchets. I don't know. Okay, and here's the mechanism. Just the regular type SK. This is the Proto, the Challenger. Just a regular SK type rocking paw. And it's spring loaded for some reason. These have five teeth on the pole per side, which is pretty good engagement with five teeth. Okay, and to take this apart, I just press down on the pole that's sticking up, and that presses the plunger down. And that lets me ease it out. Okay, here's the switch with the plunger and it has a spring underneath the plunger. So the plunger is a little bit hollow, semi hollow. Goes in there. Like that. Okay. Has the regular pin holding the pole. And here's your pole. Like I said, five teeth per side. That's what it looks like underneath. And this hole isn't chamfered, it's just flat. Here's your body. The usual uh, SK style body. And for some reason, I don't know if this is factory or what, but there's a spring that sits in the middle there for the, the switch, um, the hole for the switch. It's a coil, it's like a cone spring. That sits in there. Okay, we get this back together. It's 
pretty simple. You just put your paw there. And you position the pin in the hole for the paw, like that. You take your switch and plunger, and you just press it in with your finger or, or something. And there it is, and it rocks back and forth. And it's spring-loaded. I don't know why, but they did that. They have that feature. And they made another mechanism, the same exact looking mechanism as this, but they had a double paw design. And you guys, if you ever go to Caddis Maximus, that's another YouTuber. He does tool videos. He's, he does a lot of great videos. He does a lot of uh, ratchet videos too. He did a video of the same design challenger by Pro that looks exactly the same. But his had two paws. His ratchet, his challenger by Pro had two paws. Which which would be a pretty strong design. I mean this this is this isn't too bad. It's got the one kind of big paw with five teeth. That's not that bad, but the one he had, had two paws, two identical paws. That seems like a real strong ratchet. Okay, to put this back together, no, that's the pen craft. Just drop this in the body, press the paw in a little bit. And since it's spring-loaded, it's going to be a hassle to get this ring in. And since I got to get it into the groove in the body instead of the groove around the mechanism, it's it's a pain. Let's see if, if I'm able to do it. doesn't want to cooperate of course all right uh, that wasn't too bad this time <laughs> There we go. It's ratcheting this one. This one's simpler. You just uh, huh. <laughs> you gotta do the switch first. Switch side first. This one you just press down on the paw a little bit. There it goes. Take your ring, you got your ring pliers, and and there you go. That's a lot quicker. Okay, that's my video of the comparison and tear down of the challenger by proto one two six zero all right guys take care